Hey Aqua, welcome back. Thank you for tuning into my channel for your next 48 hours tarot reading. We're going to be looking at what's coming up around you, what you need to know, <clears throat> what the predictions are for you for these next couple of days. So before I get into the reading, please subscribe to the channel. That would be very much appreciated. Also, uh, if you wanted to become a channel member to get extra content um, and access to extended bonus readings I do each month, please feel free to join via the join button uh, on the homepage of my channel. Otherwise, uh, let's see what's coming up. Aquarius. Okay, you could have a Scorpio coming up. Somebody's got a secret. Somebody's got a secret. They're trying real hard to hide. They don't want to let you know about this. For some of you, there's the past that's coming back in. An ex that may message or call you and ask you to try to work on things again. Could be the ex with the secret. Could be a secret about a child or a family or getting someone pregnant. Okay, lots of reversals here. Ace of Swords. To be honest, I feel like this is someone you'd probably fight for. Uh, I do feel like communication may be a bit of a struggle, so I feel like it could be a little bit awkward at first. Uh, or even if you guys decide to meet up and hang out, you know, there's there might be some sort of tension here. There could be some tension regardless. Or even if you are dealing with someone who isn't an ex, tension could be created. But I feel like with the Ace of Swords, you see this person as they're worth fighting for uh, or they're worth going through these things for. You have many doubts about them though, Aquarius. You've got a lot of doubts about them. Particularly if you're dealing with an earth sign. You're like, I don't even know why you're with this person. You've got so many doubts about them. Okay, Ace of Swords has come up twice here. King of Cups could be a Pisces. Destined Pisces coming through. Okay, Ten of Cups, Four of Swords. Okay, Eight of Cups. I guess some of you are searching for something here. I don't know if you're searching for an ex online. You're doing some social media stalking. You're trying to find someone. You're trying to get in contact with someone, I think. Uh, okay. Now, two aces here. So I don't know if this is two different connections entirely, Aqua, or it's telling me you're destined to have a second attempt with this connection. Could it work? You've got the Ten of Cups. You've got the Happily Ever After card here. I feel like... If it is a Scorpio or a water sign at that, I feel like they've got a pretty good shot with you. Okay, we see the crown here, the sword here. So sword and crown. Um, they've changed. I'm getting that they've changed. They've worked on themselves. Uh, and they're sort of like a, a better version of themselves. They've done some transformation work. Could be internal. Might have dealt with their past. Maybe they've gone into therapy. Uh, Ten of Cups. I do feel like there's someone here who, if they didn't want a connection or a family with you before, they want that now. Children are coming up and, and family. Someone's coming back and they finally want to settle for good. You haven't heard from them in a while, though, Four of Swords. Your mind has been um, off them. But I feel like love still exists. King of Cups is here. So there's there's an unspoken love that still exists between you and this person. But the way they left showed you everything okay i don't think you're very happy about the way they left the situation maybe a fire sign here six of ones has come up twice but i feel like you weren't happy about the way things ended or the way someone left the connection some of you you were ghosted from this person and you had something pretty significant so they did you dirty the way they left you said you were like nah i'm not going there again never again Feel like you blocked them out you went into no contact uh i do feel like this is different people aqua i don't know how many you are all dealing with you always have options i swear every time i do readings for you i see so many options come up i don't even know i can't even keep track with who's who but maybe you can help me along the line as we go but to be honest i do feel like there's reversals with an earth sign Right now, they can't be the person you want them to be. They're still making some progress. 
but I feel like you're not going to happy with you're not going to be happy with the progress they have made in their life. This water sign might have made more changes, I think, uh, and I feel like it is someone that you lost touch with on purpose. Could be Pisces or Scorpio, or someone with that in their placement. feel like it might be like the one that got away and you almost you almost did something really special together but you just never got around to it but I feel like the fate the fates the gods the aces are coming up here and they're giving you another chance I think it's going to be your choice Aqua I feel like the ball is in your court and I see a lot of you picking things up with this person again some of you will probably end up with them and I feel like there's going to be talk of the future fairly quickly like they don't just want to get back with you, you know, they want to put a ring on it. They want to have kids. They want to make babies. Like, it's 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 serious. And it's, it's quite full on, like, to a point where I'm feeling overwhelmed because I feel like they're just going to come back and they're going to lay it on. Like, they've already thought about this in their head. They've done some fantasizing. They've already thought about what they want to do with you. And then when they come back, they're just going to sort of, let you know and just be like all right here's the deal when are we having kids when are we moving in i signed this i did that i got a job for us to do so to, to move there or to get a home loan and you're like wait what i just you know we just started talking so they may move faster than intended i'm telling you that's because they've mentally prepared themselves with a life with you and i'll tell you that ten of cups i really feel like they'll They'll communicate it to you and be like, you know, I've been thinking about what our kids would look like or us retiring together or me moving over to where you are. Like, it's, it's heavy duty stuff. You probably haven't thought about them a lot. Okay, you haven't thought about things the way they have. So you're you're coming in with a different perception. You're coming in with different wants. And you'll probably sort of want to dip your feet in. But I do feel like you would fight for this person. Maybe more so now than you did in the past. Because now it's like you're seeing this new and improved version. It's like 2.0. Okay. It's like this ex, this person is 2.0. They're a new and improved version. So that's going to be, the ball's going to be in your court here, whether you want this future with them, how you want to continue, and where you want to go from here. I still feel like you have your doubts, but Aqua, I want to say, don't let, don't let too many doubts get in the way of the connection. Take it day by day. You know, you don't have to rush. But I feel like if you're letting these doubts get too much in the way, subconsciously, you're going to take you're going to take it away from this person and you won't be able to see all the wonderful changes they've made because you're, you're, you're too you're too clouded by the doubts. It's okay to acknowledge the doubts. They're going to give you contrast, which is good. But try not, you know, as soon as they do something that puts you off, it could be very little and you're like, mm, yeah, no, I don't want to be with them anymore. You know, just stop yourself, acknowledge it and be like, all right, okay, I was a little bit put off by this. I'm going to acknowledge it and I'm going to continue on with trying to be present in the moment and in the connection. I think probably that's your biggest takeaway these next couple of days, I'd say. I'm going to wrap it up there though, Aqua. So I do hope that has been helpful. I do wish you the best of luck. I feel like it's coming back for a reason, okay? Uh, it's not for nothing. So something's obviously going to come out of this, I feel. Uh, but look, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. It really does mean a lot. Uh, don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel. I'd love you forever. Um, otherwise, we'll be in touch very soon again. So thanks, Aqua, and ciao for now.